Right, hello everybody. Back on the pike again today. Got a few days off now this week. I uh, thought I'd come and do a bit of pike fishing again. Yeah, the old weather's got cold. Look, this cold front coming down from the north. Yeah, it's a lot chillier today. Well, it was last time I came. It was like a summer's day fishing there, if you remember last time on the uh, last video. So, yeah. But anyway, we're up pike fishing again. Normal setup. Two floats, exactly the same on each rod. It's about the same depth this side, what it is on the other bank. Normally I'm fishing the other bank over there, but I've decided to come this side today. Closer to the car park. And uh, try same lake, but a different view, if you know what I mean. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot cooler today than what it was last time we come here, because it, obviously it's up in the, in the 20s last time. Now it's sort of like down to single figures again now. A bit more like pike fishing weather really. Right, okay, got the normal baits, got some herring, some mackerel. And uh, better get them out there, I suppose. We're not gonna catch anything with the rods and in the rod breasts and no bait on them. Right, okay, let's get baited up and uh, see how we get on today. cast of the day, the heron on this one. Right, let's get it out there. Right, that's the first one out. Just get it around a bit better. There we go. As you can see, the bait's not really defrosted yet. So I might have to wait a minute just for the mackerel to defrost. <laughs> oh well. Give it a couple of minutes and I'll be able to get the mackerel one out as well. There's a nice run there. Hooked into him as well. Actually, grabbed all of it. Felt like a nice fish as well. Oh, get back out again. I couldn't leave it much longer as it was going towards the other line. And it ended up tangling around it, so I couldn't leave it to really run. Oh, well, that's a shame. Right, let's get it back out there. So annoying, isn't it? Well, I don't know, guys. Two decent runs. Lost both of them. Unbelievable. Yeah, that first one actually hooked into that. Feel it on there. It felt quite a nice pike as well, but obviously the hook hole wasn't very good. And that second run, well, I'll leave it a bit longer. Dead in front of me, and it just went round, kept going that way all the way. Thought, right, hit into it. it, must have been on there. Well, as you can see on the footage, 
about a couple of seconds of that was it, that was it, it's gone. If it's how long do you leave it? You know, if you leave it too long it's going to be deep hooked. You know, it's going to damage the pike, it's the last thing you want to do. You know, it's just judging it right, isn't it? You know, it might even just be small jack pike, you know. So obviously they're not really getting, getting right round the whole fish, getting the hooks, you know, into their mouths probably, which is a bit annoying really, but oh well, there we go. <laughs> so frustrating, isn't it? You, know, you sort of look at the bites and they're really nice bites and then you just don't hook up to them properly. Anyway, we've got the baits back out again. And uh, so we're gonna be here right up till dark anyway, so we've got a few hours to go here. I mean it's half one now, so we've got plenty more time. Right, just gonna have a cup of tea now, warm myself up because that wind is cold today. A little bit of sleep, sort of like hell stones as well, just sort of blowing around. But right, anyway, everything's back out again, so we'll see how we get on this time. That's a good bite as well. Look at that. Unbelievable, isn't it? Two have hooked up now and they got off. Left that and left it and left it. Look at the teeth marks in there. <laughs> Unreal. Oh god dear, I don't know. Right, okay, let's try again. Eels have been attacking it. <laughs> Completely nearly chopped it in half, look. Incredible, isn't it? Oh well, I think we better get a fresh one on, I reckon. Right, <laughs> okay. Cool, those eels are vicious, aren't they? I can't believe the state of that mackerel. <laughs> All right, go. Look at that. Yeah, certainly like the old mackerel, don't they? Yeah, blimey. Still will chomp that up. Right, what I've done, I've put a fresh mackerel on this one now, on the left hand rod. Obviously, that one's completely destroyed. And yeah, I've still got heron on this one, I've casted it quite a way out now just trying to move it around the swim to see if we can hunt out some some pike yeah a bit of blue sky now it's sort of, you know the clouds come over pretty quickly and it gets a bit cold a bit of sleet and snow but there we go still here the fish are still feeding so hopefully we might hook into one and actually get one in so just hooking them for a few seconds and they're getting off <laughs> which isn't very good really but there we go that's fishing in it so anyway we've got the baits back out uh, just move them around every now every now and then you know just to uh, try a few different spots on the swim right okay then just a little update and uh, come back to you shortly As you can see, it's a little bit wintry at the minute. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to believe, but a few day, 
weeks ago, it was up in the 20s. <laughs> Look at this nice bit of snow now, or sleep, whatever you want to call it. That wind as well, it's terrible. Two other guys fishing as well on the other bank. Oh well, must be crazy, I reckon. <laughs> Things you do for fun, eh? Oh, I don't know. Right, guys, look at the size of this eel I just caught. Size of that. Unbelievable. That was a good old bite, too. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Big old eel, isn't it? Yeah, cracker. Yeah, well pleased with that. Yeah, caught that on mackerel. Right, lovely. Oh well, a bit different than pike, isn't it? We got one of these big eels at last. Right, okay. Quick photograph of that and I'll put it back. annoying just had a pick up on that left rod there we might have felt a bit of resistance and dropped it I think <clears throat> Another old boy on this other bit of mackerel. Show it's completely destroyed it. <clears throat> it all's been knocking that to pieces. Look at the state of that. alarm was going off so I think it might have felt the resistance with the bait alarm and dropped the bait oh well we got it back out well not back out I left it there right hello everybody as you can see it's here the next day I did do a video at the end of the um, fishing trip but unfortunately the wind noise was just too much you can hear what I was saying so I've had to do this one the next day yeah, so we had a, as you can see, had a nice eel out at last. I mean, they've been giving me problems <laughs> all pike season, really, so it was nice to actually catch one. Yeah, quite a nice size eel. Don't know how much it weighed. Two, three pound maybe, I don't know. 
I didn't bother weighing it, so I <laughs> don't know how much it weighed, but nice seal though. Uh, as you can see, we had three nice runs on the pike. Unfortunately, I hooked up one of them. I actually hooked quite, well, it felt quite nice, but then the hooks pulled out, and the other two as well. Uh, two other runs, one of them I actually did just hook, but that got off, and the other one was just a run. And I think it felt a bit of resistance on the bait runner. It started to take line. As soon as it started doing that, then it just, just dropped the bait. So obviously it felt a bit of resistance and I'm happy about it. So lesson learned there. Yeah, so that's going to be the last pike trip now of the season. So I just fancy doing something different. So the next trip out is going to be with the feeder rods, pellets and things like that. And I think I'll go to another quite a big lake and see if we can get some bream out. So hopefully we get a few of them and maybe some other species of fish as well. So hopefully the weather will be a little bit better because it was quite win wintry, you know, a few times there. The wind was just really cold and it just pick up and you see the clouds come in. Then the wind would just pick up. And of course that brought all the snow and sleet in. To start off, I did have my, um, well, it's my beach buddy really. So there's no really, nowhere really to anchor it down <laughs> securely. And the wind was just too strong for it. That's why I had to take it down, really. It just kept blowing over, so it's just too risky. So I might have to invest in a, a probably little bivy, really, for maybe next time we go pike fishing again in the winter. Right, okay, guys, so what we're doing, I call this uh, the end of the video. Obviously, I couldn't do it yesterday because the wind noise was just too much. I just played it back just a minute ago, and you just couldn't hear a word I was saying. It's just the wind was just too much. Right, if you haven't hit the old subscribe button and uh, a few thumbs up, would be good. So, yeah, excellent. Right, okay, guys, hopefully on the next video we'll be out with the feeder rods and uh, see what we can get on that one. See you soon.